using the effect filters in Affinity Designer for iPad. Now this can lend a great deal of emphasis to various objects in your design process. So let's have a look at it. Open Affinity Designer on your iPad as usual and open a new document and place your shape on the canvas. And in this case I've got some of my best friends are monsters. Select the layer you need if there is more than one. But we've got a single layer here for this particular image. The following ones will have multiple layers. And this one here. In layers, select the part of your image you would like to add the filter effect to in the layers tab. Now we're going to add the effect to that layer. Click on the effects tab, FX, down on the bottom right hand corner there, right hand side. A new drop down box menu will appear and you can see the list of objects there. The layer effects objects. You can now select the effect filter you want by checking it. So let's select outer glow. Select the outer glow, outer glow switch and tap on the words outer glow to enable the context toolbar. You can turn the switch on and no context toolbar will appear. But you need to click on the outer glow. You need to click on the words for the context toolbar down the bottom to appear. Once checked, you can now adjust the opacity, radius and even color of your effect. There are many different filter effects you can use. I'd urge you to experiment with these too. So select only the layers you need to apply effects to. And you can see here, we're going to put the red eyes into the object. You can mix colors by duplicating layers and blending by adjusting opacity. And you can see I've got two separate layers there, um, complete compressed layers. Now we're back on the multiple layers, or simply use a color for effect. You can even apply multiple effects in one object, one object by selecting different layers. And there we go, we've got a dark green and, hmm, well I guess you'd call it blue, but it's kind of being adjusted by having the green around it. So, so let's, let's do the video, video walkthrough using the effects filters in Affinity Designer for iPad. Open Affinity Designer on your iPad is the first thing we do. And yes, we have that open. Open a new document and place your shape on the canvas. So there's our new document open and we've got a shape on the canvas ready to go. Select the layer you need if there's more than one. So let's have a look at the layers. Now, which layer do I need? Let's select that and make sure everything is selected there. And it is because we've got the border around it. In layers, we select the part of the image we would like to add the filter effect to in the layers tab. Now, click on the effects tab a new drop down menu box will appear. The FX tab is that one there. And there's our menu box, layer FX. You can now select the effect filter you want by checking it. So let's select outer glow. And there it is selected. Now there's an interesting thing here. You'll notice on the context toolbar down the bottom that that hasn't changed because all we've done is turn on outer glow and we've selected the outer glow switch, then you have to tap on the words outer glow to enable the context toolbar. So you tap on that and there's our context toolbar. You can see it's come up with some defaults. The radius is zero, opacity 100, it's in screen blend mode and the color is white. But once you have that checked, you can now adjust the opacity, radius and even the color of your effect. And there are many different channel effects you can use. So let's have a look at the color for a start. Let's try green. No movement yet, but now we need to adjust the radius. 
So let's just move the radius filter up a little bit. Where's 10? There's a nice 10. And that gives us a nice green inner, or shall we say, outer glow on the border. So it's taking the inside borders and putting the glow on the outer edge of that. And you can see that. Let's have a look at the... There's the layer. There's the layer there. Select only the layers you need to apply effects to. Now, there's a layer there and there's a layer there. So we've got those two layers and we can select red and adjust the radius and the opacity and you can see that's changed those objects to red. You can mix colors by duplicating layers and blending by adjusting opacity. Well we've got that layer there Let's have a look at what's here. There's white, green and blue. Now there's a green and blue colour and you can see what's happened there. Or simply use a colour for effect. That's a straightforward single colour. And there we go. Let's change that and made a bit of a mess of the image, but that's okay. For the time being, it doesn't matter. We're just experimenting by selecting different layers. And that's all there is for this little video walkthrough. Thank you. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel at the following address youtube.com slash c slash Robert Chalmers. It always helps to keep me going and uh, makes me feel better. <laughs> Go ahead, make my day. Subscribe, give me the thumbs up with a like and you'll receive notifications every time a new video is posted to YouTube.